and welcome back to Let's Play Earthbound! Last time we uh, made it to the Your Sanctuary of the Milky Well, and this time we are back at Threed to go to Foresight. So, to get to Foresight, you use the uh, bus stop on the foreground, not the one behind. You can also uh, take the bus straight through from Tucson to uh, Foresight, interestingly. So this is a little bit of a difficulty spike, but not even close to what's coming up. Uh, it's good that we're like mid-twenties. And even then, I'm not bursting with confidence that we'll be able to get through this, no problem. I don't want to be a negative about this, but I have a bad feeling about this. Like, I legitimately have a bad feeling about this. So, there's a drugstore nearby right there. And we got a problem. Man, it's a with the bumper. My job is to drive, so I can't get off the bus. It's up to you if you want to get off the bus and walk on the desert. Yeah, it's free country. Pretty sure you can get heat stroke in this desert, which actually hurts you. <laughs> Uh, so that sucks. Hey, drugstore. Um, do you have anything good here? Mr. Baseball Bat, sign me up. By the way, there's that one guy who sells a house. We can buy the house now, but that would also necessitate going back to, uh, uh, want it. Which is a little bit of a walk, so, nah. Besides, we need the money for, uh, equipment and stuff. I did not mean to pick up the phone, either. Well, that's a pickle. Um... I mean, one thing you can always do, and I'm gonna do that right now, is you can always just go in and sell the thing, and then, uh, then you have an empty slot for the thing you're actually trying to buy. I wonder what kind of stat boost this is. 52 to 90, that's a stat boost, alright. Uh, thick frying pan, which I think is what she has, deluxe is... A big improvement. Wow, that was exactly enough money to level it out to even. Weird. Okay, what do you have for Jeff? I guess this is a good question. Huh, this is just not my day for trying to carry equipment, apparently. So yay, we finally got something that worked. Okay. Uh, I kept backing out of the menu entirely. You don't actually need to do that. There we go, deluxe fry pan. So we are all stocked up and ready to go. And this area sucks, so I'm gonna <laughs> deposit everything. Uh, as such. 999. Not 999999. <laughs> Can you tell what I want to play right now? I've had this copy of 999 for like a year and I still haven't started it. Uh, just too many games. This is a good time for gaming. Uh, 2017 was like super for gaming. Uh, still catching up on all of them sick 2017 games. Um,. I'm actually pulling out money because I realized there's that dude who's like the black market kind of weaponry and that Jeff could benefit from this. So, we are gonna go buy some stuff for Jeff now because, yeah, you probably shouldn't be able to buy guns at the drugstore. It's a gun, bottle rocket. Uh, one popular strat is to just basically make sure that Jeff doesn't have anything. And then just load up on bottle rockets. That is actually a legitimate strategy for Jeff. Uh, if you can get big bottle rockets, that's even better. I still don't know what these two do, actually. Um, HP soccer's not bad. I'm gonna sell this bomb, uh, actually. 
Uh, I'm a little, I'm a little bit torn. Wow, those are cheap. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna actually pick up another file rocket, please. Okay, this mole is determined. But yeah, this is what speedrunners do sometimes, to get around certain things. Uh, the reason being that they don't want to fight things, so they try to like... I think they call it stutter step, to make sure you don't, um, accidentally run so fast and they pick up speed and match you, basically. Uh, I didn't mean to go down the ladder, I'm about to talk to the monkey. <laughs> Oops. That was my bad. Talarama is now fasting and practicing silent meditation. He is also abstaining from anything that would make him sick or smelly too. Please don't bother him. Okay, so this guy's important, but we can actually do a grand total of no things with him right now. <laughs> um, this is for later, but it's right here, so it's at least easy to access. A paradise exists beneath that hole. Talarama is great and kind, and he does everything Talarama does. Oh, I did not see that comma. He made us to the underground rooms. Nice guy, helping out the monkeys. Uh, but yes, yeah, so you actually want to check your status periodically, because you can get sunstroke uh, from while well, being out in the desert. You also want to load up on poison type items, I don't know off the top of my head what any are, but if you can get anything that cures poison, now would be the time to do so. <laughs> because you're gonna, gonna get poisoned a lot here. Well, that sucked. Um, there we go. So it's beta. The problem is, uh, they all stack, so like, the benefits of alpha are the same, but beta adds a few. Uh, effects, and I can never remember which ones are for beta and which ones are for alpha, and we haven't even gone to omega yet, uh, in terms of confusing. Yay, sunstroke. I think sunstroke is beta, because, let's be honest, you don't get sunstroke until now, and you should have uh, beta by now. There's a ton of treasures, and even the photo spot out in the desert, but I'm not gonna go for that right now, because, quite frankly, it's a death trap out there. This hole's great. Good hole. Good hole. Good hole. First time asked me to dig for buried gold, I began to feel like I was obligated to find it. Man, am I starving? Do you have any food you can spare? Seems like you have a lot of stuff. What are you gonna give me? Uh, what do you think this guy would like? Um, I'm thinking a hamburger because it's a pretty low level item. Thank you. If I find the gold, I'll give it to you. So hard at work digging and digging. Hey, wait a second. Okay, so this is a um, little bit of a teaser of what's to come. We got a little bit of a mineshaft forming, but there's nothing here, so moving on with our lives. You have an excavation crane, so you think they'd be able to get, get through this a little faster. But, uh, wow, sunstroke only once. That was good RNG. But, uh, strangely enough, once you get to this point, I'm pretty sure you can loop back. Which doesn't actually make any sense. Uh, these guys are like a slot machine. It's it's complicated. Um, I should buy the fly. Since so I like wasted uh, experience. Statistically, though, I'm not sure if this is actually uh, logical that you actually get sunstruck from not standing on the road. You'd think standing on the sand would actually be better. Yes, for some reason, going to the other side magically clears out the traffic jam. <laughs> so... cool. Um... I just wanted to point that out. Luckily, it's not too long, so I didn't waste too much time there. But we are going back to where we were. By the way, if you have an exit mouse, or... If you want an exit mouse, uh, now would be the time to go get one, because we are entering kind of an interesting dungeon, but also kind of a long one. And I'm pretty sure poison is rampant there, so if you want to go back and get an escape mouse, or an exit mouse, I think is the name for it, yeah, go do that, because that's actually really smart. <laughs> um, this is definitely not an easy section coming up. The next two sections actually suck. 
now that I think about it. I was switching from analog to D-pad, that's why I stopped walking. I usually use D-pad for SNES games, but this is one SNES game that I can usually get away with using the analog for. It's a little bit weird. Why? I don't know. I use analog in this game because I doesn't really seem like it makes too big of a difference. Like, to be honest, this feels pretty fluid compared to, say, like, platformers where you need, like, pinpoint accuracy. And that's a big part of it. You don't need to be as accurate in an RPG compared to in a platformer. So I can actually get away with analog. Though Metroid's actually proving me wrong. Fun fact, I'm playing through Metroid Samus Returns. Uh, and honestly, the controls are actually really good. I was worried because I always play platformers with the D-pad, and the D-pad is mapped to an actual feature in the game. So I was worried that it would be a little bit cumbersome, but I actually have had no problems with analog. Um, feels super precise. Then again, a circle pad's quite not quite the same thing as an analog stick. Um, you know, like for something like Crash Bandicoot, I don't know which I would prefer. I have actually played the original Crash Bandicoot, uh, the PS1 version of all things, uh, and I actually really enjoyed it, so that's another game I want to pick up soon is the Insane Trilogy, because I haven't actually played 2 and 3, just 1. 1 is brutally hard at parts, but it's no Dark Souls. Oh, by the way, these taxis suck. They're basically like the trucks from, um, Earthbound Beginnings. And they are not easy to fight because they do the theme attack. I'm pretty sure they did that, and, or the truck did that. Uh, and these guys hit hard. I mean, quite frankly, you're getting hit by taxi, so it's not gonna be like a light hit by any means. We have to talk to someone specifically in Foresight. Now, who? I don't know. Uh, which is a little bit awkward. Topola. You wanna buy a ticket? Please come again. Huh. Well, maybe I should have kept money on hand. Probably should have kept money on hand. Psst. That was my bad. Yes, sir. Are you staying here tonight? Thanks for being so generous with your tips. Never gave me a tip, never mind. <laughs> I bet we could give him a tip, I don't know what purpose that serves. Um... It should be enough to cover the tickets. That was Discord! Which I forgot to mute my phone uh, before signing this. You know, side note, I pushed out by accident. Side note, um... It feels weird holding a Wii U gamepad. After holding a switch, it just legitimately feels a little bit weird. Mm, tickets ready. There we go. Thanks a lot. Please hurry. The show will be starting at any moment. Okay, so is this the place we need to be, or do we have to be somewhere else? I don't remember. Hello. So you're a Runaway Five fan, huh? What? Excuse me. No, no. This band owes me a million bucks. If they break the contract, they'll be in deep duty with the police. The police would probably say, hey you guys, or something like that. Unless you're able to pay a million dollars on their behalf, you'd have to find buried gold. Or you'd never be able to pay such a huge sum of money. Ho 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 ho. Picturing like the anime laugh there. Um... Oh, hi. Uh, here's the thing, we can go see them perform, but quite frankly, we're actually forced to watch them perform at a later time, so I'm electing to not do that for now. By the way, Jeff actually got hit by a car, so maybe we, we should actually heal him. <laughs> now that I think about it. Now, here's the thing. To my knowledge, all you need to do in Foresight at the moment is to actually go to uh, the theater and just trigger that line about needing to find buried gold, because, let's face it, we know someone who's looking for buried gold. <laughs> so, yeah. Now, let's go see how that's coming along. By the way, there's a ton of stuff in the desert, but one of the things is actually a contact lens. And the item for it, I think, is like a pair of dirty socks or something that you can actually throw on enemies to 
uh, like paralyzed him or something. I didn't quite look up all the details, I'm going off of memory a little bit. Uh, but yes, there's like a PSI caramel, there's like... Uh, a couple of life noodles. Also Discord. Uh... But there's a lot of cool things in this desert. <laughs> that is a really bad way to put it. Because this desert's nothing but cool. Point being... Uh, yeah, if you want to go treasure hunting, that's fine. It's just I kind of don't want to, because I don't want to die in the process. So, this is not... That's, this wasn't here last time. Uh, something to keep in mind, we have a doctor here. He may not believe it, I'm a healer. la di da da So, yes. Um... You do have a healer to help you. How walking in the desert must make you very hungry and thirsty. What do you want? So you can buy items from this guy. Uh, yes. What towels cure, um, like, heat stroke? Did you know that much? Um, I think you should dig somewhere else. Why? They have a live broadcast from the dig. I can check out the dig while we're relaxing on the floor. Wow, they predicted Twitch. So if we go in here, I didn't have a problem taking it until this. I found a maze! Lots of monsters appear so I couldn't proceed. There's five big moles! If I beat the monsters, I can continue on. I think I have a bleeding also from worrying too much. I'm helpless to really do anything. Well, we got a mole problem. That's fantastic, right? <sighs> this area is a little bit difficult. Just a teensy bit. I remember having trouble with this area, so I'm gonna hope for the best. Uh, I don't know if those are the same snakes from the beginning of the game, I would assume not. This is a maze, as they said, so that sucks in itself. But in addition, we got some tough enemies, and not one, but five moles to take care of. And yes, the reason if it sounds like my quality is going to, uh, like fading in and out, it's because I am actively looking at a map for this. So I am turning my head at certain parts. I'm despawning as much as I can because these guys are not easy to take on. I'm one of the masters of this hole. There are five masters in all. We are all moles, of course. I believe I'm the third strongest among us. Take your best shot. Guardian Digger. This is a reskin of Mondo Mole, but that doesn't mean he's any less intimidating. 107 damage. <laughs> Case in point. I love how the background says number 3, uh, because he's the third strongest mole. Yuck. Okay, so physical attacks are definitely a no-no. Um, I don't remember the strat for this offhand, other than spam PSI freeze. I remember that much. But I feel like there's more of a strategy to this than just use freeze a lot. Hey, level 29. Paralysis Omega. So yay, one more down. A Q capsule, give that to Jeff, of course. <sighs> da, 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 da. And I I keep forgetting you can actually use items no matter who's in whose inventory it's in. If it's a healing item. I really need to actually remember that for once. So now that we actually have a decent amount of HP, it's actually fun because we can actually see how much HP uh, Alpha actually does heal. Beta's basically overkill if it's not Ness at low health. Um, which is just kind of a crazy thought. So yes, again, I have a map open just to make sure I don't get totally lost and I'm... It keeps flipping on my phone. Um, there's a passenger there back to the start. But we don't want to go back to the start. We want to keep going. I don't think we're going to get through all the moles in this video, but if we can get through at least two or three, that'd be nice. Ropes. Yes, living nuisance because it rated E for everyone. <laughs> but again, in the, this, in the defense of the SRB, the E rating didn't exist, but I don't know. I probably would have given this T, but I think a lot of it did have to do with the fact that people did not like the graphics in this game, and kind of underestimated it. 
but this game actually does have like blood and such so yeah it probably would be T if it was like 3D graphics at the time but at the time it just kind of got ignored yuck poison hurts in this game a lot 20 HP is nothing to see is that when you only have 200 max Okay, healing beta. So I'm not gonna use PSI Rocket at all uh, in this dungeon as much as I'd love to because poison. Now, just double checking something. Uh, okay, that's a revive. And here's everything. So, secret herbs basically act like a couple of life noodles, which is actually really good to keep in mind because. Uh, we have a few of this. Wait a minute. I'm confused by this map. Like, I'm legitimately getting turned around. I don't know how. Wait, is that where we are? Okay, we're on track. I think. I don't know. <laughs> so this is basically a reskin of the Titanic ant. Gigantic ant. ant. So that's clever, I suppose. Also, did you notice that both ant enemies in this game have names that actually have the word ant in them? Gigantic has ant. Stop doing that. <laughs> Please stop. Actually, that's not too bad because they keep talking to Jeff for some reason. Oh yeah, one other thing that's nice about this game is if you actually kill an enemy, then attacks will automatically default to the other character. Uh, that's something that a lot of games didn't do back then, believe it or not. You know, Final Fantasies did not do that, and it stunk when they didn't. Uh, i trying to think of any others off the top of my head. Um, yeah, Final Fantasy 1, unlike the NES, is the only one that springs to mind, but I want to say Dragon, Dragon Warrior did that too. Now, and then there's Dragon Quest. Speaking of which, Dragon Quest, that's another game I want to play. So yeah, this area is pretty rough because of all the poison. So I can heal poison... 46 by 8. Six more times. So that's just a little bit scary. And that's not counting heals, so we're gonna actually rely on uh, items a fair bit. Where the heck am I in this dungeon? <laughs> I'm legitimately getting turned around. Uh, I think we need to go down now, but let's pick up an exit mouse. Do I get to come along too? I'm gonna use that right away. Uh, on Ness, that heals quite a bit, so... We'll go to use picnic lunches. How many... How much HP does do these heal? 80. Everyone else is relatively close, like... Jeff is uh, uh, only 30 HP down, and he's over 100, so that's pretty good. Please take my song, song along. He may look like a regular small mouse, but he can lead you to an exit if you're lost in a maze. So yes, yeah, so this is actually going to help us because we don't have to backtrack through the dungeon once we finish it. I like picking up an exit mouse. Uh, I didn't remember there were actually exit mice here, otherwise I would not have recommended picking up an exit mouse on the way down. Those are mad ducks. They're not too bad, but for the sake of time, trying to get rid of them. Are those the same ones Jeff fights, actually? Or are they a different enemy? I don't remember. I mean, yeah, if you get re in a really bad position, use an exit mouse, go back, heal. It's not a bad strat. I'm really the third strongest master. I'll destroy you now. So, yay! Another guardian digger. Um, bash. No, he has a shield. <laughs> what am I doing? I should defend. Uh, well, Paula just takes care of this. And also... Let's try this. He's down a little bit. Let's try it. Oh, oh hey! Solidified. Pretty good. 20 HP. Uh, not too bad, but also not as much as I would have liked under the circumstances. But hey. Actually, I actually want to try this. I want to see if just a, an alpha will work, or if I need two betas. Yeah, let's keep using the HP sucker. Fun. Nope. 
Maybe it doesn't have enough HP. Okay, so just an alpha. Now I'm gonna try an alpha and an alpha. <laughs> See if that works. Just trying different combinations of different attacks to figure out how much I actually need to deal effectively. So who's slow on luck? Who's down their luck? Uh, looks like it's Jeff, so... Uh, inventory's full, so that's awkward. Uh, da -da -da. I'll just hang on to it. Never mind, I want to use something up. How much does a boiled egg heal? Her HP was already maxed out, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, it was. Um, I'm tempted to just have her equip it because it's... Uh, wait. Who can use a platinum band? Arm. Okay. Uh. Oh, Ness has it. No wonder she couldn't equip it. Oh well. I should give it to Paula, but later. Should I just toss the silver bracelet? To make an inventory slot? I need to turn off my phone. Because it's really going off. <laughs> um. Yeah, item management is always the toughest part of Earthbound for me personally. But it's also a fun part because it's it's not really a problem in most games of the genre, so it's actually very unique for being extremely limited and it's also more reasonable. I'm calling this game reasonable and yet you're fighting a living noose, so yeah, make of that what you will. Okay, now we're in a bad spot. But yeah, see, if you do this, you can actually get away. As strange as that sounds. Yes, you can actually just sort of stutter step away. Or I could fail to despawn this enemy. That works too. Thirsty coil snake. How many bombs do I have? Actually, how many bombs do I have? I did find out that the, uh, anyone can use a bomb. Fun fact. It's not a uh, chef exclusive. Should be almost down. Hey, something we barely have room in our inventory for. Check that just hatched. Uh, okay. I think checks makes you happy. No context. <laughs> I like how it actually uses it up as an item. Can I give this when it's already equipped? Okay, that's cool. So I'm gonna equip that's what's so bracelet and give Paula the uh, platinum band since she has lower defense. They got stuck on the wall, which worked out for me. Still there. Now there are ducks there, so I can't go too far out of my way here. Well, this is a predicament. Stuck between ducks and a snake. Which is not something. Which is not a very good metaphor. <laughs> well, I turned at the last moment. Well, I think I'm. I at least have room to try to despawn those other enemies. That's cool, and now poison, so that's rough. But I think we're gonna end off here for now, so thank you for watching, and I hope you join me next time for more Earthbound.